We're going to Bob in Miami, Florida. Good morning, Bob. George, good morning. If I may go back to the chemtrail issue, I happen to be sure. a chemtrail activist. Sure. And I actually met with my local EPA uh, here at the University of Florida. And uh, we showed them samples, both of rainwater and soil samples, that showed the higher elevations of strontium, barium, and aluminum oxide. In addition to that, Clifford Carnicon, along with a lady by the name of Rosalind Peterson, um, both um, former EPA officials, from what I understand, they've done the, the studies with the balloons, sending them up into the actual trails. And here's the bombshell, George. We've actually disclosed the chemtrail budget. Uh, this is at the intelhub.com, a great source on this and so many other topics. Secret presidential chemtrail budget uncovered Congress exceeds billions to spray the populace. And uh, here's what it's called, George. It's called the Fund for Innovative Climate and Energy Research. And it, quote, exists to accelerate the innovative development and evaluation of science and technology to address carbon dioxide and other greenhouse emissions. Now, by now, I'm sure you've heard of the term geoengineering. Mm -hmm. And they're using this term geoengineering as, you know, this weather control. Now, what the motive is behind this, George, I don't know. But we can't say that this is happening without necessarily having to get into the conspiracies. That's why people need to look at the science unto itself without necessarily getting involved with what the sinister plan is. You know, they should do the same with any topic, whether it's 9-11 and watching Building 7 falling down or understanding fluoride and the, and the problems with fluoride in our water supply. I, well, I, you know, I, I, I agree with you. You can you can look at the evidence without understanding the ultimate motive. But, I, I you know, I can't help but ask that question about and it, it becomes relevant when you say that you have the budget, you have information on the exact budget and, and the name of the program. And I'm wondering who knows about it then? I mean, Congress has to approve this budget. The president has to include it in his budget. Do they know what it is or is it are they just rubber stamping this at some point? Somebody has to say, look, uh, what, is, what the heck is this program over here? They're going through the budget with a fine-tooth comb. I don't know how many millions they're spending on this thing, but if, it's, if all these chemtrails that we're seeing in the sky are, in fact, laced with something bad, uh, it's costing a lot of money. It's a worldwide program. Uh, that's a heck of an undertaking uh, for any government to, to pay for. Someone, it would seem to me, uh, if it's a Bush program that Obama says something about it, if it's an Obama program that Congress says something about it, that's the missing piece for me, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I couldn't agree more, but being that you're involved with the black ops and Area 51 and whatnot, uh, you have to understand that this is compartmentalized and on a need-to-know basis, and it works okay. under that fashion. And, you know, Dennis Kucinich, he, he had gotten involved with chemtrail legislation. There's people that know about this stuff, George, and, and it's getting out more and more. So, again, let me just quote this source from the intelhub.com. The major budget has been released to the public, so it's, it's out in plain sight, as most things are. You know, this is something that you can look up and, and check out for yourself. This is in their own mouth. So it doesn't take us to, you know, cons to make a conspiracy theory here to show you what's going on. So well, Bob, I appreciate I, uh, your time. Yeah, I appreciate the call. And like I said, I'm, I'm open, but I just have a, a lot of questions about it. We've had Clifford Carnicom on the program. I interviewed him. I thought he was a really interesting guy who seems to be doing his homework, you know, tracking this stuff down. I uh, appreciate the call, Bob.